Okay, we're going to go ahead and talk about the fixed asset items list that comes in QuickBooks. All right. So you come in here under lists where you find all your lists and you open up your fixed asset item list. And you have here all of your fixed assets that you're tracking. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new one here. All right, so the item type is fixed asset, obviously. What's the asset name? Dell computer. All right, is it new or is it used? I'm going to say it's new. And we're going to say a Dell laptop. For Marjorie Jane Adams. What date did you purchase it? We're going to say on the 8th. What was the cost? $500. Who did you buy it from? PSWarehouse.com. The description of the asset. I'm not going to fill in all this information, but you can put in the location, the PO number you purchased it on, the serial number, when the warranty expires and any additional notes down here. You can go ahead and put in here the asset account that it goes into. So this would be going into my furniture and equipment account in this. Usually computers go into computer, you know, usually have a computer fixed asset account or computers and equipment. But furniture and equipment is fine. When you sell the item, this information is kept in here too. So you, if the item, you know, you purchase it and six months later you end up selling it, all that information can be tracked here. Then you can go ahead and say okay. All right, so then you have your fixed asset added to your item list here. All right, the other thing that you can do is uh, you can come in here, you can do a duplicate of the item. So if you're adding multiple fixed assets, you can add those. And uh, then you can notice here how you have the cost and you also have the cost basis, accumulated depreciation, book value, all that fun stuff. That's in the fixed asset manager that you set that up. Okay. This is just to set up your fixed asset list. If you are going to set up your fixed asset manager, uh, go ahead and watch that video. We've got a different video on that subject. All right. Uh, they do have some quick reports and you can also get your fixed asset listing to send over to your accountant at year end uh, so that they can have the detail of your fixed assets and what what compromises these fixed assets, okay? What compromises all the amounts. All right, so that is your fixed asset item list.